All right, in this video we're going to go ahead and review the concepts that will be on your Chapter 6 test. And let's go ahead and get started. The first part of your test is going to cover divisibility rules. And your test will look pretty much just like what you see here. We learned the divisibility rules for 2, 3, 5, 6, 9, and 10. I'm going to give you a number, and you're simply going to have to write yes or no next to each one of these numbers, basically saying yes, the number is divisible by 2, or no, the number is not divisible, divisible by 2. And if you remember, the rule for 2 is if it's an even number, or if it ends in 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0, it's divisible by 2. 345 is not ending in 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0. So we would write no next to this. The rule for 3, if you remember, if you add up all the digits, 3 plus 4 plus 5, 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 5 is 12. The rule for 3 is, will 3 go into the sum of these numbers? Will 3 go into, add these all up and you get 12, does 3 go into 12? Yes, it does, which means that the entire number is also divisible by 3. And if we skip down to the rule for 6, the rule for 6 was, if 2 is yes and 3 is yes, 6 is also yes. Now we look here and 2 is no, so 6 is going to have to be no as well. Remember, 2 and 3 must both be yes. The rule for 5, does it end in a 0 or a 5? Yes, it does, so this would be yes. And the divisibility rule for 9 is just like 3. Add them up and see if 9 goes into that sum. Now we add these up and we get 12. Does 9 go into 12 without a remainder? No, it does not, so we would put no here. And the rule for 10 is probably the easiest rule. If the number ends in a 0, it's divisible by 10. This number does not, so we would put no as well. Jumping over to this bigger number, don't be intimidated by the bigger number. It's pretty much the same thing. The rule for 2, well, we look. It ends in an 8, which means it's an even number. So yes, this number is divisible by 2. For 3, we need to add these all up. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 4 is 10. 10 plus 8 is 18. Does 3 go into 18 evenly? Yes, it does. 3 goes into 18 six times evenly, so that would be a yes. And look at this. 2 is yes. 3 is yes, which means that 6 is also going to be yes. All right, 5. Does it end in a 5 or a 0? No, it does not, so we would write no. And once again, the rule for 9 is just like 3. Add them up. Our sum was 18. Does 9 go into 18 evenly? It sure does, so we're going to put a yes there. And finally, 10. Does it end in a 0? No, it does not, so we would put no there. So that's the divisibility rule part of the test. Your first page of the test will look just like this, except you will have different numbers. All right, moving on to the next part of your test, prime factorization. Prime factorization is basically when we make our factor trees. What times what equals 50? Well, there are multiple ways to do it. I'm going to go ahead and do 5 times 10. All right, and then we need to ask ourselves, is one of these prime? Remember, prime number means there's only one way to multiply and get it. The only way is 1 times the number. Or you could say there's only two numbers that divide in evenly, 1 and the number itself. Now we can see 5 is a prime number, because the only way to get 5 is 1 times 5. Is 10 a prime number? No, it's not, because I could do 1 times 10 or 2 times 5. So I'm going to break this down more. 10 would be broken down into 2 times 5. 2 is a prime number, so we're going to circle that. 5 is also a prime number. So there is my factor tree. I have two 5s and one 2. So I could write that as 5 times 5 times 2. Or I could also write that as 5 to the second power, since I have two 5s times 2. Now, we could have done this factor tree a little bit differently. We could have done it uh, 25 times 2. And if we just really quickly do that, you'll see 25 times 2. 2 is a prime number, so we're going to circle that. 25 is not. That's composite, so we have to break that down again. 
And if we break that down into 5 times 5, which are prime, you can see that our tree looks different. But notice, 1, 2, 5s, just like we had two fives over here, and 1, 2, 1, 2. The tree is different, but the prime numbers at the end remain the same. How about this one over here? What times what is 81? Well, probably the easiest way to do it. 9 times 9 is 81. Are those prime? Nope, because there's more than one way to multiply and get them. So we've got to break those down further. It would be 3 times 3. And this would also be 3 times 3. And I'm going to circle those because they're prime. All of those 3's are prime. So our answer for this, the prime factorization of 81, would be 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. How many 3's do we have? 4 3's. So another way to write it would be 3 to the 4th power. OK? So that is the first part of your test. Tune into part two of this math review video for the rest.